So it's Saturday and I had to work today. So I drove this morning and in the middle of the day, my plan was to go pick up some hay bales from one of the guys in town, uh, Randy. He was going to give us some bales that were no good anymore. And what the plan is, I watched something and read some stuff on it uh, from a, a gardener named Ruth Stout. And she had some gardening methods that did a lot with mulch and a lot of no-till, no-digging type of gardening. And I saw a video on some people that did potatoes, and I don't know how many of you have done potatoes or planted potatoes and dug potatoes, but there's a lot of digging involved with potatoes. And without equipment, that's a lot of shovel work. And I've done it a couple of times and wasn't a big fan of it. Although I did like the potatoes and how they come in and everything. And it is rewarding digging up and finding those potatoes in the dirt and wondering how many you're going to get. But the Ruth Stout method uh, that this uh, couple used was putting a bunch of old hay that's, you know, three or four years old and stuff that's maybe no good for cows or any animals anymore. And they lay that all down and they did it in the fall. And I'm a little late on that, but we're gonna try it in the spring. Uh, they put, they mowed down an area that they weren't planning on planting and they mowed down the area and laid out hay on top of it in the fall. And in the spring after winter had hit and done its magic and in the spring when everything starts to sprout up, all of those, kind of like if you lay a tarp down or something down when you come back or a piece of plywood and you come back in a couple months and you pull it up and everything, it's just bare ground underneath it. The same concept with this. They would go, they get went in the spring, pulled the hay up and everything was just dirt under there. So they just went down through and pulled the hay back to the, to the soil down a row and they put the potatoes in it. And then they put the hay back over top of it and the potato in between. So it's right on top of the soil. They don't have to dig and it's under the hay. So it grows up through the hay, just like it's in soil. And then in the fall, they go peel back the, the hay again and pull the potatoes up out of the hay and you don't have to dig. So we're going to give it a shot. So after my return trip today, we're going to go pick up some hay. It, everybody was busy. And it was hard to link up. Uh, the The skid steer is in a different town doing some work. So we're going to roll it on by hand onto a trailer instead of using the dump truck or a pickup truck. And we're going to roll it on. So we're going to get some uh, brute strength going. Roll these hay bales on and roll them off of a, a flatbed trailer. And then in a couple days... We're going to roll the hay out and then in about a month or so, maybe a little less, we're going to get some seed potatoes and put them under the hay and see how they grow. You should see if he can get in that lane a little more. There he is. That's right good. There. Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's just touching. Uh, just... Yep. Just, yep, skimming about six yeah. inches. Should good. Should be good. Boys are too quick for me.
All right, Randy, you'll be on YouTube before you know it. <laughs> yeah. Growing potatoes. Yeah, saw that. I warmed it up. He came over and bumped it. I had it almost over. Gotta get out of the way. Oh. Out. <laughs> You're showing him your. I brought a stair dance moves, oh, man. Stair on twine. Came on wrap. Oh, yeah, I saw that it was kind of that right? way. Quarantine bump. All right. Yeah. Glad you got the motivation. I didn't feel like doing it, but <laughs> didn't take long. No, it was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. All right. Thank you. So I decided I'd stop down here where they're doing all the work, all the cutting down all the trees, just to see in the spots that they're done what it looks like. And there is ton of wood down here still. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know if they're done and this stuff is all sitting here. I'm gonna stay here or what? Uh, just gonna kind of stroll around and kind of see. I mean, if you look behind me there, that piece is about uh, almost say almost 11 inches across but it's you know where there's some big branches and it wasn't the nice straight clean stuff that they wanted but I mean, this stuff is still pretty big I think it could, it could build something with it it's just not worth them messing with man it's a mess I'll turn the camera around here so you guys can see what's going on. It is messy. I try not to fall in the water, but that could be YouTube gold if I did, huh? Some of this stuff is dead trees, and they said, oh, we don't want that. This piece here, come on, whoa. 
for that piece. And that's, that's big. It's gotta be 14 inches across. Either there was something they didn't like about it or they missed that one, I don't know. Imagine being a deer and trying to come through all that. They would not like it, but to find a spot like this is kind of cleared out and work their way through. Those pine branches will rot pretty quick. But you can see what I was saying right here. There's like hardly anything on the ground. There's some, where am I? Right there, there's some deer poop where they just come through, but they just, there wasn't a whole lot in here for them for cover, really, or for, for them to eat, to browse on. A little bit of, see these here, the blackberry bushes, they're going to, this whole place is going to be full of them in, a, in about two years, probably. The birds will go find some blackberries somewhere and fly over here and, and poop and boom. Be blackberry bushes everywhere. It'll be so thick you won't be able to get through, but that'll be good for the, the animals. One big cherry tree right there. Oh, it's a tall one. But you see how it doesn't have any branches on the sides? Because it had to make its way up through the canopy of the pines. Uh, didn't allow much room for the branches to grow out, so those things just shoot up straight as fast as they can and don't branch out. It's, so, like in a different set of woods, you'd see a lot more branches. Uh, if the trees are a little, separate a little bit better. Another big, it's a big cherry tree there. Yep, yep, yep. Huh. That's a, a larch tree right there. Anyway, that's what it looks like. Check this trail out. Man, I wonder if they ever get those things stuck. Because I can't imagine trying to drive anything through that. You'd be stuck in a heartbeat but they got two spots here that are just looks like they're making their own little pond or something they are soupy as anything need to bring some people down here to run down through this mud have some mud races or something you see where they were just cutting that down through there with the undercarriage That is something else. I don't think I want to go through there. I gotta get back in my car and my boots will be a mess. <sighs> Interesting. Just I'm curious of what it's gonna be like for the deer this year. In the next couple of years, changing up the strategy. And hopefully we can start seeing some different trees pop up in here in a couple of years and the new ecosystem starting that's what it'll do god knows what he's doing he'll have all kinds of stuff planting in here the animals will be doing it just the natural way that the squirrels and everything else carries everything there's pine cones all over the place down in here Never know, just a whole bunch of pine trees might pop up. Head back to the house and get some grandbaby time. If Bailey's still there. Ugh. And I think Joy's, Joy's been checking out cookbook and said something about making biscuits. I don't know if that means we're having chicken gravy. Sounds pretty good. 
she'll probably say, I told you that's what I was making and you weren't listening. It's not always true. Sometimes listening, most of the time listening, maybe hearing, really try. But sometimes I'm thinking about five other things at once and so I don't always hear. It's not selective hearing because I am interested in what she's saying all the time. I came downstairs and said, hey, what you working on? That was earlier. She's like, I'm just looking through cookbooks at biscuit recipes. And I know she said that. And I know I bought some boneless, skinless chicken breasts. So that's, I'm just putting those two and two together and trying to figure out if that's what the case is. Whatever it's going to be, whatever she's making, it'll be awesome. So, and she's on a bread kick right now. She had me stop and get more flour from a roadside stand over in Andover. I can't remember what kind. Occident, Occident flour is what this stuff is, and it's for bread. And I've never really thought about bread flour, but that's what it is. It's made by, it's made from hard, hardened wheat. I guess some stuff's made out of soft wheat and some stuff's made out of hard wheat. I don't know, but that's what we got. And we had some that was called Sir Galahad flour that I bought and she said I don't need that special flour it's not gonna be good then we used it she's like that flour was awesome you need to get more well guess what they didn't have any more at the place we got it from but they say this stuff is about the same so we got a bag of that we're gonna test it out and I guess we'll be the judge if this is the same or not. I think either way, it's gonna taste good. My car just dinged and said 35 miles till empty. Do you guys always have your car filled to full, ready to go? I think half the time we get in our car and it's got less than a quarter. When you fill them up, man, it's nice. But it doesn't always happen. Anyways, headed to the house and we'll see what's going on next. I'm back at the duck sanctuary that we fished at yesterday and I saw this um, yesterday and I told Joy, I bet you that's what they're talking about. This is what's going on with those trees being cut down. The Young Forest Initiative says the DEC is increasing timber cutting on select wildlife management areas across the state to create young forest habitat. This allows more sunlight to reach the ground and opens up space for young trees and other vegetation to grow. Like I said, there's no underbrush and there wasn't anything for them to be hiding in and everything. It says, why is it important? Young forest habitat provides homes for American woodcock, ruffed grouse, wild turkey, and a variety of songbirds and other wildlife. Even wildlife that live in mature forests bring their young to feed on the abundant food in young forests. Besides improving habitat for wildlife, these efforts may enhance hunting opportunities, improve bird watching, and create healthier forests. So there you go. I'm back to the stream I was at yesterday when the sun was shining and the birds were singing and it was beautiful. Well, here we are. It's uh, misting, it was raining most of the day, and it sounds a lot louder down on that stream. 
I decided I better come get that minnow trap before it decides that I can't find it. And I haven't been down there yet to check and see if I can find it. Hopefully, it's still in there. So I grabbed a bucket to put the minnows in. Hopefully, I caught some. And hopefully, it's still there and I can tell if I caught some or not. And it's not halfway down the stream. I'm working on a, a video. I'm going to do a video on how to make your own salted minnows. But I figured I'm going to try to make that one a little smaller. So I'll put this in today's video. And then that salted minnow video will be different. I'm going to jump down this bank and go take a look at that creek. And hopefully be able to recover that minnow trap. Let's see if I can jump down this bank and hold the camera and not fall. That was a close one. I'm a little nervous I'm not going to find it because I was standing in those rocks over there and my video camera was over there and there was no water flowing through that area. This thing is way up. I don't even think I can put my camera where. All right, let's see here. Um, I'm looking for the rock that I tied the string around. I'm just going to start picking rocks up. Oh, that is cold, man. Let's see here. My nephew's gonna kick my butt. Lost his minnow trap. Maybe. Huh. Well, still working at it here. Let's see. I don't know, man. Brandon, I might owe you a minute of trap. Uh, it was going to be so much easier to find it when I came down here and there was not much water in this. All right, I'll let you know if I find it. All right, everybody, I got the stick. And I'm going to scoop it down through here, see if I can find the line. Oh yeah, Woo. got it. I also have a wet foot. These boots, they have a hole in them. All right, see, I had spun the line around that rock down there, which I couldn't figure out where it was because it's not, doesn't look like it did before, see? Oh yeah. All right, so let's pull this baby back here. Ah, oh, I'm spinning you guys everywhere. It's coming. Oh, okay, let's see. Oh yeah, we got a minnow trap. Let's see if we got any minnows. Ha! So, well, I think the making the salted minnows uh, video is a bust. That chub that's in there, I caught him in like a minute or two when the I had the trap down at the other end and I left him in there and brought it down and threw it in here and I didn't catch one minnow. I'm going to let him go. We'll have to try it again. was right everybody it's chicken gravy and biscuits and look at that <coughs> Louie you're ruining the video Louie you're taking away my job what the heck right Brenna's the video ruiner no I just bring I've never put this you much chicken think so in. oh there's gonna be so much leftovers you're gonna have to make more biscuits mmm -hmm. <laughs> all right that was the video a little bit of everything today 
Not a whole lot of uh, completed tasks, but we got to get the, the hay picked up, got to check the minnow trap. No minnows. That chub was pretty happy that I released him though. And we got uh, to see the the saw. Well, that's today's video. I was hoping for another day like yesterday. I wasn't checking the weather. I had a lot of plans today of things I could get done, but that rain definitely puts a damper in things. We did get the hay picked up for the Ruth Stout potato area, and we got to uh, rescue the minnow trap before it flew down the stream. And we also got to go check out the state land where they have uh, been clear cutting and trying to start up a young forest. That's what I thought they were working on, but or that's what I knew was going to happen. I didn't know that that was their plan. I just figured they were selling some lumber or timber and making some money for the state. But I think it's a good idea to do that once in a while. Our uh, ecosystem and our forests are all about the same almost everywhere. It's good to have some transitional areas and things like that. So, oh, and while I was at the duck sanctuary checking out that sign, I saw a father and his daughter coming back from the dike with some fishing poles. And uh, I asked them, how'd the fishing go? They said, they caught a bunch of golden shiners. He said last year he went fishing about the same time and had the same luck. And once he got to the end of April, the bluegills were, were out in abundance and a lot better. So maybe we just were a little early. Anyway, that's today's video. We're trying to figure out what's going to be tomorrow. Um, besides it being Sunday and the Lord's Day and us looking at uh, watching some live streaming church again from probably Joy's cousin Ed. Uh, we're also thinking about a video and I told Joy it's been a week, maybe it's her turn again. So she's racking her brain on what to do, not sure. I uh, made mention of she's been making a lot of bread, but she said she's not a professional bread baker. Um, she's waiting until she gets better at it to be able to give tips and tricks. And I told her, well, how about venison gravy over rice or mashed potatoes or toast? We can discuss how to can venison and uh, how to make the gravy with the juices and things like that. And I don't know if that's the case. So if she is doing it tomorrow, uh, look forward to that. And it's still up in the air what it might be that she wants to do. Either way, we're going to try to bring you something tomorrow. We're trying to keep this going every day while things are slow and while I continue to learn. There has been a uh, GoPro ordered and we're going to see how to use that. I've been checking out some different apps for editing. So that's still in the learning process. But I think that's about it. I'm going to get this video edited and get it up. Hopefully everybody's still enjoying them. You know, it's uh, it's something that I'm putting a bunch of time in and hopefully we see that there's a difference in the first video up till now and hopefully in a week or two weeks we'll see a lot more uh, differences from the beginning one to then. I think it's just something that you have to learn and we'll get better as we go. I do appreciate everybody's time and patience and anybody that has a comment uh, right here on YouTube. If you go right down below, scroll down past all the video suggestions, you'll get down to the spot that says comments and uh, go ahead and leave one. I got one today that was pretty encouraging, letting me know that um, Tammy and Jimmy are watching all my videos so I want to give them a shout out. I know there's other people that are too, but you got to make leave a comment for me to uh, mention your name. So thank you guys for watching. Thank everybody else for watching too. Uh, we love you. God loves you. And God bless you. And keep up the hard work on this social distancing because it is difficult because we want to go and hug people and tell them that we love them and, and uh, 
but we are trying to do a great thing for our communities and our our uh, country and the world to try to get this virus under control. Um, but try not to worry. Try not to be scared. Um, God is in control and he knows exactly what's going on. Even though right now we're in the middle of it, we don't know what's going on. Someday we'll say, wow, it wasn't as scary as we thought it was. And that'll be it. Have a great night, everybody. Bye-bye. Going down the bank. Whoa. Whoa. I was upside down there for a second. All right, we're going to try that again to make it cooler, but that's a pretty good outtake. Woo. Well, I'm not bleeding. So that's good. Camera's still working. All right, that was the video. A little bit of everything today. Not a whole lot of uh, completed tasks, but we got to get the, the hay picked up. Got to check the minnow trap. No minnows. That chub was pretty happy that I released him though. And we got uh, to see the, the saw, well, Going down the bank. Whoa. Whoa. I was upside down there for a second.